What is going on everybody? I'm your host Baby Spine and today we are back with another Broken Edge guide video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Samurai class. One of the strongest classes in the game but also very hard to master. Let's go ahead and jump into the dojo and I'll run you through the basics. Let's go ahead and straighten this out. Grab our katana. Let's start with the basics. All classes have holsters. These will allow you to sheathe or change weapons. As you can see, the samurai has holsters on both sides because they have multiple weapons. We're gonna grab the blade on our hip, that being our katana, our primary weapon. We're gonna grab it with two hands and get the feel of it. Now we're gonna take out one of our wakizashis. Sorry if I butchered that. I'm not Japanese. The wakizashis are secondary weapons that will break after being cut. And you actually have two of them, not just one. We'll put those back on our right hip. Now let's learn how to awaken our blade, which is going to be the glowing flame that emits from your blade. To awaken your blade, with your katana, strike a pose, hold for a moment. After a pause, switch swiftly to another pose. Let's go ahead and try that now. Much like the training dojo dummies doing. As you can see, we're switching poses and we're built and we're keeping our awaken nice and high. An awaken blade will kill an opponent even if energy remains in their sword gauge. So basically, as long as you got your weapon awakened, you can hit them in the body and in the game, but your blade has to be awakened if they have HP. Let's go ahead and do it. Normally that won't work if your blade is not awakened, so make sure you always keep your blade awakened so that you can be a constant threat to your opponent. Let's go ahead and strike the computer's blade, or the bot, our training dojo master here. Stay precise and awakened. Like so. Always strive to hit your opponent's blade as low as possible so you can do a maximum cut damage plus whatever amount of awaken you manage to keep your blade at. As your awaken can go really high. For samurai, they have a max awaken of 190, which is the strongest, or should I say the highest awaken in the game. And they also have a pretty high HP value of 250, putting them among some of the highest HP in the game. In the top three. As you can see, you're awakened at the, at the top of your HP gauge. You want to try and keep it full so you can do as much damage as possible. We've shattered the dojo trainer's blade. We can now go in for the kill. Yes, we know. The awakened blade gives us an edge. Let's continue. to the advanced combat. Master your Awaken to reveal its potential. To master the Awaken on the blade, you wanna perform cuts or thrust in a continuous motion aligned with the blade's edge, wield with both hands. As you can see the training dummy doing, nice clean cuts and thrusts while two-handing the sword. As you can see, we maxed it instantly with a nice clean cut right into a pose. Which is how you really want to play the samurai. A mastered awaken will quickly deplete your opponent's gauge. Let's get a pose and strike his blade. Look at that. Samurai can do a whopping 290, almost 300 damage in one cut. Samurai out here, be cutting people's blades in one hit with their fully awakened cuts.
Now, the trade-off is that, again, a Samurai's Awaken can basically shut off in the blink of an eye, but we'll get more into that later when we get into the training portion of this video. Yes, we know. Keep it in continuous motion, clean cuts and thrusts, along with holding poses every few seconds. Look at that, 190. Devastating, awaken. Well, it looks like we'll go ahead and end it. Get on to the rest of this. Let's move on to the edge breaker. Activating the edge breaker greatly boosts the damage of your next attack. We want to take this position to quickly activate our edge breaker, which as you can see is the diamond shape. The edge breaker will give you a fully awakened attack without having to do any of the other normal awakened flow poses and whatnot. We can just go straight into an edge breaker and hit for max 190 damage. And as long as we hit the sword as low as we can, we can get an additional 100 cut damage which is why you always want to strive to hit your opponent's blade as low as possible. As you can see, we missed, but the edge breaker will stay on for a second or two before going out like this. As you can see, it stayed on for a minute, enough to swing the sword around a few times. But you gotta be careful because if you mess up your edge breaker and it turns off and then you clash with your opponent and you don't have any awaken, it could be a quick way to destroy your own sword. Let's go on to the ward. Ward protects you from enemy attacks. This is usually a good idea to put a ward on whenever you want to regrow your sword with any of your abilities. The ward will keep you protected so that you can do it typically the critical parry, but we'll go over that a little bit later. That's the pose for the ward, just a cross like that. You'll get your ward on, and then if you have to critical parry or second wind or whatever, the ward will help keep you protected while you do it. Let's continue. Usually want to combo the ward with a critical parry, but the critical parry is not mentioned in the training, but it's when your sword gets destroyed and it's just down to a fiery nub. Let's, it's basically a second second wind, but let's go ahead and do our second wind. This is the start of the pose. Then we bring it in for this. Then like that, and it'll regrow your sword. So once your sword's been shattered and it's no longer regrowing back by itself and it's our, and it's down pretty low, you want to do a you want to do the samurai second wind pose and regrow it back. So that you can last longer in the fight. And of course the critical parry, once you've done your second wind and you're fighting and your sword gets brought down to the nub, you'll see it glowing all fiery red. Normally that's when you want to put your ward on and block with the fiery nub. It'll basically do a third wind and regrow your sword again one last time. Let's go to the training portion where we can really look more into the actual gauges and meters here for how the Samurai Awaken works. Just a more in-depth look before we go and play some multiplayer. As you can see, the Samurai is about rhythm, alignment, and flow. And they have a max 190. We just hit for 186 with a thrust. A thrust is always gonna be one of the easiest ways to max your Samurai's Awaken. Of course, clean cuts will as well, but sticking a thrust out, as you can see, it's about the easiest way, in my opinion, to get that Awaken maxed out. Now, alignment, you wanna keep your blade aligned with your opponent. The rhythm and flow, you just wanna keep your sword always in a nice, smooth motion and keeping the blade aligned. Remember, clean cuts and thrusts to max your Samurai's Awaken. Let's go to a real game. All right, 
Let's go into ranked. First things first. Before we go into a ranked match, I like to turn this way so that I have more room to go back and forth and fully utilize my play space and the allotted in-game boundary space as well. Samurai. Now we're here and it takes us to a uh, online lobby training until we can find a match. So we'll just practice against the Barbarian here until it gives us a match. Now allow me to show you what happens if you don't keep the Samurai Sword Awakened. Notice how it turned off out of nowhere. You have to pose swap. One, two, three. Shut off. So every three seconds, make sure you pose swap. Because if you don't, your Awaken is going to turn off like Jesus himself came down and blew the Awaken right off your sword. So make sure to always stay in motion. Look, it shut off, see? And when it does shut off, quickly switch to a different pose or counter with your sidearms. Because sometimes it, it happens, there's nothing you can do about it. Best thing to do is to counter with one of your sidearms. Looks like we have a new player. It's a samurai. Let's show him the way. The way of the samurai. Huzzah! We hit for max awaken there, as you can see at the top. We had full uh, energy on our sword. Awaken energy. We seen that his shut off, so we went in for a lunge and one shot his sword. He's gonna regrow it now. Well, he's gonna try to, but I don't think he knows the pose very well. So we're gonna kill him, ah, or not. Good block. Oh, so that was the critical parry you just saw him do. He didn't do a second wind, instead he critical parried and brought his sword back. Doesn't really matter now, because I think we destroyed it. His sword is now gone. We're gonna end the fight. He still has his sidearms. You gotta use these. He could have used the sidearms. Oh, this is the pose. We're gonna show him the pose. All right. Again, this is a new player, so we're really showing him the ropes here. Oh. As you can see, his awaken shut off because he didn't pose swap on time, and we were able to one shot his blade. He doesn't know how to do the pose. Look, this, 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 this. We're trying to teach him <laughs> on the field here, boys. <laughs> but this is exactly why you want to go to the training and the dojo and the training and really learn your class before jumping into an online game or else you'll be clueless like this guy. <laughs> you can see we're striking with those lunges whenever possible because they do so much awaken, full awaken. Oh, his awaken shut off. We're gonna go in, take full advantage, as you can see. Maybe we'll try to be a little bit more fancy. Yeah. Once again, his awaken shut off, we go in for the hit. He doesn't know that he has to pose swap every once in a while. GG. All right, I think, GG's brother. I think he needs to head back to the training room or the dojo and learn his poses. But for us, we're moving on. So one thing I like to practice is the three seconds of swinging into a pose. Obviously the safest way to play is to just go from pose to pose to pose because then you know your awaken's not gonna like randomly shut off. But sometimes I like to throw some style points in there and just kind of do three seconds worth of swinging into a pose. It just feels cooler. Let's see if we can get away with that. Oh, we caught his sidearm. Nice hit. Oh, that was nasty. 
You can really channel your inner weeb playing the samurai. Oh, our awaken shut off. No, it didn't. Actually, we had awaken. We just took serious cut damage right there. I'm trying to be fancy. That's what happens when you're fancy. <laughs> Take advantage of that. Awaken shut off there. Chopped one of the, chopped one of the horns clean off. <laughs> We're trying to show him the pose there. All right, maybe we should start with a different style. Wakizaki, or however that's pronounced. <laughs> maybe we can beat him one-handed style. Another way to play samurai. Basically, it all still applies. The same stuff that we were doing with two hand, but you can do it with one hand, as you can see. Just make sure to always hold a pose every few seconds. Our awaken shut off there, so we weren't able to do what we wanted. Another thing to note about Samurai is your blade is awakened when you unsheathe it. Like, watch this. We unsheathed it, and it already had 145 awakened, even one-handed. Okay. We're playing one-handed, and that, and we ate, we just ate his edge breaker. Let's do it. An edge breaker of our own. So we can protect our sword while destroying his. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. We're going to put our ward on and go in for a killing blow. But he is able to critical parry it. We will show him how to do the second win. Like this. Wow. Looks like our awaken turned off that time. Now we have our critical parry and our ward on, which is perfect. We have our ward to protect us while we go for the critical parry. Which destroys his sword, because he didn't have much left, and regrew ours at the same time. If only he knew how to do a second win, this would be more of a competition. Mmm. So when you see someone going like that, it's best to just go for a death blow if you see them going for a, a sidearm hit. Like, watch. Ooh, we caught his sword when he was holding it down there at his side. Did massive damage. Caught it again. He keeps trying to hit us with that sidearm. We just swing around and catch his katana instead when he's holding it all, all off to the side. Ooh, we're gonna go for a uh, the old nut tap. GG's. Looks like he might be the only person that's on right now. Looks like we might be able to hit 2k before this video is all said and done. Looks like we're 32 right now with our tyrant. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the tyrant video. That's gonna come soon, huh? Ooh, nice. Perfect 190 hit on the barb sword with a clean cut. Feels good. Looks like we got a tyrant. Zero wins. Let's see if we can shatter his sword in one shot. We're going to go for an edge breaker right out of the gate because the tyrant doesn't really have a sidearm to stop it. So... As you can see, <laughs> we shattered the sword in one hit. Tyrant has the lowest sword HP in the game. He went to critical parry. I knew he was going to do that, so we went low when he went to put, put his sword out. All right. Let's see. So we actually parried with our sidearm there, and we did tons of damage. His, his uh, edge breaker actually shut off there. Ooh, see, we actually shattered his blade with both of our sidearms and we haven't even used our sword yet. That was a good hit. That was a good hit, I'll give you that. I 
And that is the end of the Tyrant's Blade. <laughs> Alright, one more round. These ranked games are played in a best of five format. Let's try to end this. I can see that he's going for cheeky hits with the Tyrant. But we're not letting that happen. And he also, he's trying to flick too fast, which keeps shutting his edge breaker off. Okay, he actually ward blocked our edge breaker when I meant to hit his sword, so that... That was good for us. A huge hit. His sword has been destroyed. Now, well, here's what we're gonna do. He's gonna try to critical parry. So we're just gonna go for a low hit. Throw him off guard. What's up with these players not knowing how to do their second win? Is there anyone else? Anyone at all? I always like playing against the the barb bot because he does some he does some pretty wonky stuff. Sometimes, other times he does dumb dumb stuff like that. Bad alignment. Ah, finally. Is this a worthy opponent? A duelist. I think duelists can do well against samurai because their blades are so cheeky. Easy to get around samurai while they're trying to pose swap. My awakened shut off. We both, both are awakened shut off. Nice sidearm block. All right. We're gonna go for a we're gonna go for a cheeky hit because he's trying to trick our awaken out. And whenever they do that, you need to demand respect by charging into them. If they're gonna sit there and do this number, don't do that. Don't play that game. Chart like just play offense and make them respect your blade. Because that is the samurai's weakness is sitting there trying to play. Follow follow the enemy's sword. Follow the enemy's sword. Like this guy. Every time we go for his sword, he quickly lifts it and goes around and tries to go for a stab. There we go. We're able to shatter his blade. Go ahead and regrow it, duelist. You're not going to regrow it? Nice. In that case, we'll go for an edge breaker lunge. You better block it with your sword, duelist. Stop playing around. <laughs> I'm not playing around, brother. I'm not gonna sit there and chase your sword around while you do okey pokey, Ferris wheel, doki. I know the duelist is capable of beating a samurai. As we look at that edge breaker, disgusting damage. What are you doing? Oh, he rage quit. Well, now's as good as time as any to leave off. That's a rage quit. He's out of here. Mission complete. On point. Just like the last video. Anyways, everybody, I hope I helped you learn something a little bit about Broken Edge here and learning how to play the Samurai class. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more VR gaming guides and stuff like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one. This is your host, Baby Spine, signing out. Peace.